race three at Epo. The flag is up and the gates open and they're racing. D Great Talent began well but now being eased. Empire Bay shooting through along the inside joins Colorado Prince and then D Great Talent who wants to go quicker. Uh, around the outside now Mazandaran with Snow Dancer. D Great Talent is now back to midfield. From Ultimate Hero then came Destiny Knight Francis. That were followed uh, next along then as uh, they're about to work off the back there by the millionaire. He's back second last and Master Jiangman, the race favourite, has the entire field in front of him as they work off the back and onto the long course they go. And the leader is Empire Bay, a stable mate of the previous winner. Colorado Prince is racing on its outside, three wide Mazandarin. Then D Great Talent, Destiny Knight taking closer order. Back on the inside of those, Snow Dancer from Francis, and then came the Millionaire. Ultimate Hero and Master Jiangman is still last at the 600. They turn and go. Empire Bay fronts up for the run to the judge. He now pulls clear. Here's Destiny Knight in hot pursuit down the outside. Also working home, Colorado Prince, and then came D Great Talent, Snow Dancer, and further back to Mazandaran. Empire Bay skips away, though, with about 200 metres left to go. He's sailing along. He's well clear under CK Core. It's well clear Empire Bay from Destiny Knight and they were followed next along Colorado Prince and then Degrade Talent but Empire Bay way too good. Empire Bay goes on to win by three lengths. Second Destiny Knight, third Colorado Prince and fourth Snow Dancer. They were followed by Degrade Talent from Francis, Ultimate Hero, Maz and Darren and then came the Millionaire and Masters Yangman was never a possibility at any stage and was back near enough to last. So Empire Bay, first out and first home out of Barrier 1 under CK Core. And it gives those set of owners a winning double. SL Lamb a winning double. This one trained by Peter Lee. They do swap stables, these horses. It's like a hurdy-gurdy at some stage, but to this one now back with Peter Lee for a couple of runs. CK Core the rider, but there's a winning double for the owner, SL Lamb and the nine-year-old gelding doing the job. His first win since August of last year. Coming off some reasonable form, and he'll pay 28 for the win and seven the place, and uh, he looked the winner a long way from home. Number 10 first, uh, standing by for the Miners. I think Destiny Knight has run into second placing, and uh, he will run second, 19 for the place, and number three, Colorado Prince, had every chance, he'll pay six, and Snow Dancer came in fourth. So that is the story after race three. Empire Bay now takes the record to 89 starts for, uh, what is it, 10 wins now and 16 placings. CK Core, the rider, uh, that was his first victory aboard the gelding this afternoon. Empire Bay winning race three. and this is race three at Epo. The flag is up and the gates open and they're racing. D Great Talent began well but now being eased. Empire Bay shooting through along the inside joins Colorado Prince and then D Great Talent who wants to go quicker. Uh, around the outside now Mazandaran with Snow Dancer. D Great Talent is now back to midfield. From Ultimate Hero then came Destiny Knight Francis. That were followed uh, next along then as uh, they're about to work off the back there by the millionaire. He's back second last and Master Jiangman, the race favourite, has the entire field in front of him as they work off the back and onto the long course they go. And the leader is Empire Bay, a stable mate of the previous winner. Colorado Prince is racing on its outside, three wide Mazandaran. Then D Great Talent, Destiny Knight taking closer order. Back on the inside of those, Snow Dancer from Francis, and then came the Millionaire. Ultimate Hero and Master Jiangman is still last at the 600. They turn and go. Empire Bay fronts up for the run to the judge. He now pulls clear. Here's Destiny Knight in hot pursuit down the outside. Also working home, Colorado Prince, and then came D Great Talent, Snow Dancer, and further back to Mazandaran. Empire Bay skips away, though, with about 200 metres left to go. He's sailing along. He's well clear under CK Court. It's well clear Empire Bay from Destiny Knight and they were followed next along Colorado Prince and then Degrade Talent but Empire Bay way too good. Empire Bay goes on to win by three lengths. Second Destiny Knight, third Colorado Prince and fourth Snow Dancer. They were followed by Degrade Talent from Francis, Ultimate Hero, 
Mazandaran, and then came the millionaire and Master Jiangman was never a possibility at any stage and was back near enough to last. So the margins are three and a quarter by one by two and a quarter and the race time is 128.4. Uh, 128.4 and that's uh, about 5.7 seconds outside the record. Of course we're racing on a soft track today and Empire Bay getting the job done there, number 10. Empire Bay, a nine-year-old bay gilding by Ifraj, is out of Lake Ding and trained by Peter Lee for SL Land. That's a, a winning double for the owner there. Of course, uh, also owns Jetstar Eagle, which won race two. Uh, this one with Peter Lee, CK Core, the rider, and he was way too good at the finish, defeating number nine, Destiny Knight, CC Fu for trainer Bonnie Ung, and third over, three Colorado Prince, Casey Wong for KF Wong. And fourth is eight snow dancer, Jay D'Souza for Nor Asman. The numbers 10, 9, 3 and 8 after the running of race 3 in the time of 128.4. So the all clear coming through after the third, weights are correct and all clear. And the winner there was number 10 Empire Bay, pays 28 for the win and a 7 the place, defeats number 9 Destiny Knight at 19, third was 3 Colorado Prince at 6, the Quinella has paid 124, the QPs 9 and 10, 26. 3 and 10 paid 16, 3 and 9 pays 39, the trio 229, the trifecta 1114 and there were no winners on the first four. Uh, that pool is building up all the time, it's over the 8000 mark now and all clear is up on race three.